गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर धवल चंदा राणा एंड वी आर कंटिन्यू ऑन अ डेटा मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सब्जेक्ट ऑफ यूनिट नंबर थ्री नॉन एज अ रिलेशनल क्वेरी लैंग्वेज टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अ रिलेशनल एलजीब्रा ऑपरेशन सम मोर ऑपरेशन ऑफ रिलेशनल एलजीब्रा विच वी आर स्टडिंग फ्रॉम अवर लास्ट टू प्रीवियस लेक्चर एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अ नेचुरल जॉइन और वी कैन से इनर जॉइन एंड आउटर जॉइन In outer join, there are the three different types known as a left outer join, right outer join, and full outer join. As per my point of view, as per the GTU's exam point of view, it is a really important concept to understand how a natural join or outer join will be work. We will study each and everything about a natural join with example as well as syntax, notation, as well as example. of all the three below mentions join known as a left right and full outer join so please see complete video and understand how the natural join and out join outer join will be work we will start with the natural join a symbol we will use in natural join it is known as a a natural join symbol a notation known as a relation r1 natural join with the relation r2 whenever we are using or whenever we are study a join operation at that time we are using a two different relation means a user want to retrieve a combinations of tuple belongs to a multiple a relation operations a natural join will be retrieve a consistence data from the multiple a relation it combine record from the different relation that satisfy a given condition in our previous lecture we are using a cross product in a cross product user retrieve a multiple tuples among a multiple relation so same way a natural join combines a record from the different relation that satisfy a given or defined by the users defined conditions steps how the natural join produce a output and what are the difference between the cross product and a natural join we are studying using these uh, steps four steps it's perform the cartesian product what is cartesian product if you know anything about a cartesian product or if you have any doubt or if you want to understand a cartesian product please go through my previous video so you can easily understand because in our previous lecture we are go through this Cart cartesian product with he help of example after generating a cartesian product results step 2 it is known as known as a deleting inconsistent tuple in a cartesian product we are not removing uh, any inconsistent record means duplicate record will be there in a cartesian's product output but whenever we are using a natural join it is the important concept with comparison of cartesian product in a natural join they are deleting inconsistent tuple after finally getting some result of omitting a inconsistent tuple then it will remove an attributes from the duplicate attributes because we will see in a cartesian product there are two different relation with have a same attribute but as per the output they are retrieving both the attributes so that can take a uh, some inconsistent data so as per the requirement of a natural join they are omitting a common attributes at the final results so it is very good compare with the cartesian product and there are lots of advantages whenever a data is more now we see with the example how a natural join join will be work so as per the figure says a natural join retrieve a common attributes or as well as we can say common tuples among both the relation so it is the actual concept of a natural join let's see with the example start with the example there are the two different relation known as a student and result and there are attributes known as a roll number name and branch of student relation and roll number and spi of a result relation step 1 performing the cartesian product means multiplying the attributes sorry multiplying the tuples and summations of attributes to generate student dot roll number name branch result dot roll number 
and SBI. So it is the summation of attributes and multiplications of tuples. On the step number two, we are omitting some inconsistent records, or we can say remove inconsistent tuple. In the above tables, there are two records in inconsistent way. We can say it is a duplicate one, known as a student dot roll number and result dot roll number. So we just removing a particular column as well as a two rows. There are same known as a one zero one and one zero two. With help of natural join, we are getting some single row as per the result. Now removing an attributes is step number three. With help of removing the common attributes on the above diagram or above tables known as a student dot roll number and result dot roll number. So it is known as a common attributes. We are removing step number three of natural join is remove the attributes. So as a final output. We are getting the result known as a roll number one, one zero one name Raj, branch C and SPI eight. So just we understand that how the difference between Cartesian product and natural join in a step number one, whatever result will be generated through this Cartesian product, it is the final output of Cartesian product. But there are the different and duplicate records available. In this particular Cartesian product, so first we are removing inconsistent tuple. In concept of inconsistent tuple means one zero one Raj, one zero one Raj. It is a two records with the resultant duplicate inconsistent records. Means one zero one student roll number. It is known as a Raj. But how it's possible that a student roll number one as a Raj and result roll number is one zero three? So it is completely removed. Now same way, a student roll number one zero two, but a result roll number one zero one, it is not possible. So we are removing inconsistent record. Same way, a student roll number one zero two, but it is not possible that a student roll number one zero two and result roll number number is one zero three. It is a a completely inconsistent record. So as per the step number two, we are removing inconsistent tuple because. Uh, whenever we provide a student one zero one, so they can only take a one zero one result. So it is only single record which are su sufficient or satisfy all the condition. With help of removing inconsistent tuple, in step number three of natural join, we are removing a common attributes of the result of step number two. So in a result of result dot roll number and student dot roll number, both are common attributes. So we are removing. Just one attributes of step number two output. So at the final at final output of natural join is known as a roll number one zero one, name known as Raj, branch as C and SPS eight. So it is the final output of natural join. I hope you are understand. Second example, let's see with the natural join. We can take a two relation known as a branch and faculty. Branch have Three different attributes, known as branch ID, branch name, and head, and faculty have three different attributes, known as faculty ID, name, and branch ID. Start with the performing step number one. It is known as a Cartesian Cartesian products. You can easily find that how the result will be generated of step number one, because you know what is the Cartesian product and how they produce the result. So I will not discuss in depth. After removing inconsistent data of step number two of natural joins, I hope you are understand what is a inconsistent way. Whenever we provide a branch ID one, at that time a faculty ID one it is belong to branch ID one. So branch ID ones, faculty ID one it is a actual records. But whenever we provide a branch ID one. The faculty ID two it's not belongs to branch ID one, so it is a inconsistent way. Now see what was the actual output. So a second record it is removing because there it is a inconsistent record. Same way a branch ID two it's not belong to a branch ID one or we can say faculty ID one. So it is inconsistent data. So we just removing. After getting 
a step number two output we easily found that branch id branch name head faculty id faculty name and faculty dot branch id so in all the six attribute step number three of natural join is we are removing common attributes so as we are easily says that branch id dot bid and faculty id dot bid are common attributes so in step number three we just remove it so at the final end we are getting some exact result of natural join i hope you are understand because we are seeing in two different example with the two different relation so we can finally say that to performing a natural join there must be a one common attributes or we can say column between two relation because whenever we require or whenever end user is required to retrieve some records among the multiple relation it is compulsory to one of the attributes are common on all the relation it is a key point of natural join or we can say any of the join now it is one of the exercise that how we can write the relational algebra operation with given example a relations known as a student r number s name address city and mobile attributes department have department id and department name academic is known as roll number did spi cpi backlog guide known as r number p name fid faculty as fid f name subject and did and salary list the name of student with their department name and spi of all the student belong to c department so we write down a relational algebra query of the particular example first we identified that list the name of student where we are getting the student name of student relation with their department name so we require to combine a student and department name and a spi so we can retrieve a combinations of student department and academic of all student belongs to c department so we are using three relation now let's see how this the how the it's work select department name c first we find out those student belong to a c department after applying the natural join of student department and academic we provide a find out the condition known as a requirement to display a name of student department name and spi so after getting the final result we are writing the actual relational algebra query for the particular example let's see some another example display name of student with their project name whose guide is a j sha so user want to display name of student which are belong to student table with their professor name it is known as a faculty table whose guide its particular a uh, name so is above example we require a student table guide table and faculty table now let's see how it's write down a relational algebra first select faculty name is equal to ajsha with use of natural join and user want to retrieve two information name of student with their project name so we just retrieve a two column of student name and project name let's see some another example outer join is one of the most important concept in relational algebra so please be focused on outer join there are the three different types and we are going to study each and every type with help of example start with the outer join it natural join sorry in a natural join some records are missing if we want that missing records then we have used to outer join because in a step number 2 in a natural join we are removing inconsistent records so in some of the conditions they are missing some final results record which are real required to represent on a display at end user site but if a user want to apply a natural join at that time they are missing some information so with help of outer join you can easily retrieve all those missing records which are required to display 
or which required to represent to the end user site so it is one of the advantage of outer join compared to a natural join types we will discuss a uh, three different types of outer join you know very well it is known as a left outer join right outer join and full outer join start with the left outer join name itself suggests that display all the tuples of left relation even though there is a no matching tuple in the right relation as per the definition we can say that we are retrieving all the records of left relation and those record at match with the left to right they are represent with the final result for such kind of tuples having no matching the attributes of right relation will be padded with the null in a resultant relation because on a left outer join if some of the attributes are missing or not match with the right outer at that time data management system it's by default provide a null value of a particular tuples or particular attributes let's see we will study or we can say we will see with the example how the left outer join will be work we take a two relation known as a student and result with help of left outer join we are retrieving some result known as a roll number 1 raj c belongs to spi 8 roll number 102 name meet branch me but in a resultant table there are no record but as per our definitions we can say that all tuples of the left relation in a left relation we getting a student table so we are provide all the output result in particular final results if some tuples having no matching because in a student table there are records of roll number 102 but in resultant table 102 roll number is missing means some tuple having no match at that time the attributes of right relation or we can say result relation will be padded with the null resultant means a roll number 102 is missing in result table we put a spi as a null value I hope you are understand how the actual thing will be work in a left outer join whenever some attributes is missing on some another relation we can directly put as a default value none so maybe in future there are some value will be available so it is the actual way where we study in a graphical representation all the tuples of left relation with the common attributes of r relation so left right left join belongs to a left table left after join example display name salary and balance of the employee there are the two relation known as employee and customer user want to retrieve information of name of employee salary and balance so we are using a left after join with the help of left outer join we can retrieve all the columns name salary and branch left outer of relation employee as well as customer but user want to only retrieve name salary and balance so we just use a projection operation with the help of attributes known as a name salary and balance at at end of the output we retrieve a left outer join means retrieve all the informations of left table with help of meet and joy but in a right table there are id known as a one but we are missing in employee table so you know very well what we are putting in at that at that time we are putting a null value because meet records or name of attributes meet are common in a both table but a name joy it's not available in customer table but as per the left outer concept joy is as output but joy record is missing in customer table so we are not finding balance of particular joy name at that time 
we are putting a null value as per the definition now see how the right outer join it works if you are understand a left outer join then you can easily find out that what are the actual result of right outer join because the name itself suggests that display all the tuples of right relation even through there is a no matching tuple in the left relation so if you compare left right you can easily find that in a left relation all the conditions belong to left relation if you apply the right outer join then all the condition belong to the right relation so for the search kind of tuple having no matching the attributes of left relation will be padded with the null in the resultant relation the same like a left outer join let's see with the example same example we will repeat but the output result will be changed in a left outer join we obtain the result if we apply a student relation left outer join at that time final output is 101 and 102 but same result will be not generated in right outer join because right outer join belongs to a right table so in our example the result is a right table so we are getting only two records but the record known as 101 and 103 because 103 is not append in a student table but in a 103 there are no record in student table so name and branch it's a null value so i hope you are understand what are the difference between left outer and right outer because it is really easy to understand how the actual concept will be implemented so graphical representation you can easily understand that how the right outer join will be work because all the condition will be belongs to the right table let's say with the example display name salary and balance of the all customers same example we will take which are taking in a left outer but result will be different one so the output itself suggests that raj and mit belong to the customer table but we are applying the right outer so all the tuples of right table it must be in a final result there are some missing value means raj and mit but raj is not available so salary is null padded by defaultly i hope you are understand and the last and final one known as a full outer join display all the tuples of both the relations it also paired null value whenever required in left outer it just padded left value or we can say left table missing attributes as a null in a right outer those attributes are null not match with the right attributes it is provided or we can say padded with the null value but in full outer join both the relations perform or we can say combinations of left outer join and right outer join that's why name it's known as a full outer join for such kind of tuples having no matching it will be padded with the null in resultant relations so if you understand what is the left outer and right outer common result will be generated in the full outer join and those attribute are missing we just padded in a null value let's say with the example student and result in left outer there are only two output value or output tuples in a right outer there are the only two tuples as per the output but whenever we apply a full outer join means it is the combinations of left outer and right outer join and we are removing a common attributes known as a roll number so in a final output result 101 102 and 103 are the unique record among the both table because 101 and 101 are both the common value so it's just omitted but in 101 student table 101 is available result table 101 is available so we can getting all the attributes but in a student table there are roll number 102 is available but in result table 102 is missing so at final requirement spi is null same way it is all the tuples of both the relation so 103 also retrieve as a final output but 103 rom, roll number is missing of the student table so we put a two null value 
known as name and branch because we are not getting the value from student table so it is the padded with the null value let's say with the example and understand how the full outer join will be work as previously we say that left outer is belong to only left table right outer is belong to only right table but in full outer belongs to complete all the table means combinations of left plus right table let's see example display name salary and balance of the all the employee as well as a customer because we are using a full outer join means the combinations of left plus right outer so as per the example says employee have two different tuples customer have two different values in a both the relation there are the common value known as id number 2 in full outer join we are retrieving total number of three tuples with help of a total number of two attributes are common so we just neglecting so as per the result id name salary and balance as per the final output of four attributes and there are the three tuples value using the full outer join so as per the requirement projections will be apply of name salary and balance employee and customer because as we require or as per the user requirement as they are retrieving all the employee as well as the customer record so as per the output requirement or as per the output mentions we are providing a result using the full outer join first meet salary is 15000 and balance is 5000 because the record will be available meet and meet is available after getting the record of j there are no record of j in a customer table so we require to put a null value in two sorry we are putting a null value in a single column known as a balance and a meet table it is a common one but raj record is missing in a employee table so in this particular customer raj is available but salary is providing a null value because raj record is missing in a employee table so i hope you are understand how the full outer join will be work and what are the actual output will be generated with the combinations of left outer join thank you so much